okay. that you had planned. Let's talk. We're just going to talk about exactly the stuff we were just talking about before. Okay. Just about medicine and the reason why we're sharing all of the stuff that we're sharing, that we're going to be sharing, that, that we want to share with people. Mm -hmm. It's because this medicine and stuff that we have found in ourselves and in God, yeah. that really, really hurts to disobey God. <laughs> it does. It sucks. It sucks to not say this. It sucks to be silent. It really does suck to be silent because like whenever I see people who are dealing with something that I know that I've moved through or that I've gotten through, mm -hmm. I feel like I have to hold, I've, held, I've felt like I've had to hold my tongue and like not share. Right. And you know, that's damn well killed me. <laughs> I, I firmly believe that, you know, there's no, there's no, uh, it's no coincidence when I get sick. Right. It there's, isn't. There's illness, but there's also spiritual illness too. Mm -hmm. And not sharing definitely causes lethargy and malaise in my body. It does. It does. Like the message is in and it has to come out. And if it doesn't come out, it comes out in weird ways. And it comes out in self-destructive ways. Yeah. We have to say this stuff. Right, yeah. it's part of our spiritual journey personally for each of us. That's why we have to share this stuff. Yeah. Because it's part of how we grow. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know half the stuff that I say until it comes out of my mouth, and I listen to it later, and I'm like, "Huh, that was insightful." Right. <laughs> I don't think this stuff up; it just comes out. Yeah. It's just been in the it's it's been in the mental washing machine, just sort of churning around in my brain over and over and over until eventually it comes out my mouth and I'm like, huh. Well that was really neat. Wow. You benefit from that a lot. Too. I'm so glad that we're doing this. Doing what? That we're making these videos. I'm so it's glad. Just growing our relationship. Oh, our relationship has gotten nothing but better. It was incredible to start with, and now it's like just stratospheric, out of this world awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just like face the world as a unit now, even more than we did before. And, and we were a powerhouse before. And now we're just like a juggernaut. Nothing is standing in our way. It is, it is insane. Powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, insane in the most, the most it's like, like positive, joyous, joyous, positive way, way yeah. of like complete unreality. <laughs> That we get to live in. Mm -hmm. I mean, the power of love. Holy damn. Right. Yeah. And not just like the feeling that's between you and me, between our hearts, but like just the way that we interact with the world. Oh yeah, we show up in each moment with love so much. Yeah. I mean, just random people that we meet. Like, oh, I'm gonna love you now. Oh, I'm gonna love you we now. We find everything immediately lovable. Yeah. We do. Except for when we don't. Except for when we don't. And we, then we just don't align with it. But right. I notice how all the things that are in my path are things that I love. And anything that is unlike love just doesn't seem to be around me. Right. It can be in the periphery of you. It's sort of orbiting around, but it never but comes in. But it never in. comes in contact with me. It's right. like I have this like energetic barrier. You know, my, my aura is super strong. Yeah. Oh. And uh, I can, I, I just feel it. Like, people move out of my way. They do. <laughs> Man, you at the grocery store today, like, it was like Moses parting the Red Sea. I'm, I'm telling you, she was just like, 
people are just like moving out of her way as she's just doing her business. I didn't even notice. I know because as far as you're concerned, there's just nobody even in your world. You're just like, I'm alone in the grocery store. There's nobody even in my aisle. And everybody else is just in the other aisles huddling. And they're like, what in the hell? Just walked in here. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It was so fun. It was like, you could tell that there were three types of people in the grocery store. There was, there was the, the locals, there was the tourists, and then there was you. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. I'm gonna move this camera closer because it's like we are talking from like way far away. There we go. Look, we've gotten bigger. I don't even know if we're putting this one on the internet. You're such a performer. It's so cute. Yeah. I love that about you. Well, thank you. It's fun. It's entertaining to put on a different personality. I know. That's why we. It's fun to make videos. You know. It's just. I don't know. I, I always have really good conversations with you and I feel like I am like one of the privileged people in the world to be able to like have witty discourse with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, it's just cool to be able to share it with other people because I don't know, I think smart people really like us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. They already do. Everybody's like receiving it so well. Everybody's that's just receiving true, all true. the stuff we're saying so well. And we then, have not gotten a single person being like, me. Yeah, because that person was like, if I say me, they might actually start making fun of me. And I don't think I could handle that. My ego could not handle that. Yeah, you do not want to fuck with us. <laughs> you do not want to fuck with us. We are so good at just like flipping it around. <laughs> And yeah. just like being able to be balanced in our power. Yeah. Oh, that brings if up. Anybody tries to like get one over on us. It's just like, nope. Nope. Not going to happen. <laughs> because we judo. wield the power of God. I <laughs> shit you not. This man, I have seen him like, <sighs> I just watch you with other people in positions of authority and I just... I like bow. <laughs> just like this man embodies like this energy of the sultan. Like you, you are just the sultan who just like because of your love of God and your love of people mm -hmm. and because just of how much strength and faith you have, it holds you in the utmost of powerful positions. Thank you. Because you have God behind you. Yeah. With every decision you make. With every, every decision. Make, and every conversation you have. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I just see like this, this just like posture that you don't even try for. It's just because God's with you and God, you have confidence in God. Yep. And you have faith and certainty in God. And that's what gives him this tremendous, tremendous. Yeah. Tremendous strength. strength. And, and power and certainty and just, just watching you handle your life is really inspiring <laughs> thank you love you've taught me so much about how to like stand in the world i mean you gotta stand up for yourself because nobody else is gonna stand up for you but the thing is that no the thing is is once you stand up for you other people stand up for you yeah they do other people but if you shit on yourself other people shit all yeah. over you <laughs> so stop shitting on yourself right okay so so i was in the store the other day and, and, I, and this lady was standing in my way, so I walked up to her and said, excuse me. And she said, I'm sorry. And I said, you don't have to apologize just for existing. <laughs> you literally <laughs> said this to some random stranger. To some random stranger. <laughs> because you know what? She doesn't have to apologize just for existing. There's nothing to be sorry about. You're just in my way. Excuse me, please. Please move your body a little bit to the left so that I don't like brush past you as I go by and make you uncomfortable. This is for your benefit. Like, it wouldn't bother me. I know it's coming. But you, you might be surprised. <laughs> so if I just say, excuse me, please. And all I expect is for you just to notice that I exist and move out of the way. Or notice that I exist and don't move out of the way. And then I brush past you and it's still okay. Either way, there's nothing to be sorry about. Believe me. So if, it, if you're the sort of person who says, I'm sorry, every time somebody says, excuse me, stop that bullshit. And just say, oh, okay, let me move out of your way. Not, not, oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe that I stood in the space that you want to occupy. Oh, <laughs> hurts me so bad. <laughs> Man, my mama raised me better than to exist. <laughs> <laughs> the shit you say sometimes. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, oh, no. oh, we got to tell the story about the landlords. 
Okay, so Katharina and I are shopping for landlords right now. We're kind of shopping for a place to live, but really we're shopping for landlords because we put up with like landlords of all different types and we know what we like and what we don't like. And so Katharina found like three places that we would like to go live at. And she beautiful said, homes. Beautiful, beautiful homes. homes. And she sent all of them the same exact email. She's like, hi, you know, I'm Katharina and we're interested in talking about your home. Please give me a call at this number so we can discuss the details of your home. Really simple. Sent it. One of the person, one of the people, they didn't respond to us and we're like, oh, okay, no problem. You don't want to rent to us. Not a big deal. The other person called us like we asked and was professional and polite. But the third person, oh, the third person. The third person sent us this discombobulated jarbled text message where they're just interrogating us and they're like, well, what's your income? And send me pictures of yourself. And, and I want to run a credit check. And I'm going to run a credit check on you. And, and you know, where do you work? And how much money do you earn? And do you have tax returns? And can you prove that you live on Maui? And are you residents? And I looked at this, this shit. This litany. This whole litany. And I was like, I'm not going to play by your games. I'm the guy with the money. You're the guy with the house. You're the guy with the bills who needs them to get paid. I'm the guy who wants to pay your bills. You can go jump in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just sent him back something that said, I said, thank you so much for your response. But I also screened my landlord and I would prefer it. I would prefer to have a landlord who just called me like we politely requested. <laughs> And because you didn't do that, we don't want you as a landlord. Thank you. I hope you find a tenant for your home. And then he sends back this text message <laughs> saying, What? What? What's wrong, What's wrong with, you? with you? I do this with everybody and none of them have complained. And so I just said, One of those people is your ideal tenant who good likes... Luck. Good luck. Good luck. That person, has, that person likes your management style. That's the person who you're going to get along with. You're not going to get along with me. Believe me. If you're already making me um, not like you a lot from the very first exchange, <laughs> you're definitely not going to like it. Let me tell you, Katharina and I are great tenants. We take care of places. They look nicer when we leave than when we go in. We pay our rent. On time. All the, all time. the time. We do not drink. We do not party. You do not, do not smoke. We do not smoke. We do not have pets. We are incredible tenants that anybody would be lucky to have. So... I simply stood in my own power and said, I'm not going to subordinate myself to you. It is totally acceptable for a, for a, a but landlord. You didn't say that. I will not subordinate myself to you. No, I said that in my head. Yeah. I said that in my head. But it's important to talk about the conversation you're having right. in your head because that is. That's the conversation you that eventually you have. Will have, yes. Yeah. Because you're not willing to, like, submit in that way like you're mm -hmm. willing to stand in your own power and your own sovereignty right. and just say hey yo i'm standing up for myself right there is a totally appropriate time to run a credit check on a prospective tenant and to pre-screen them that happens during the initial phone call first you talk to them and you find out if they're an articulate speaker and if they are the sort of person who can afford the thirty five hundred dollars a month that this dude wants for this particular home that's what you do and then you ask them casual questions like oh so what do you do for a living Oh, how long have you been on Hawaii? And you fill out your, your list of, of due diligence questions. I'm not saying that this guy trying to do his due diligence was wrong. It was perfectly acceptable, but the way that he did it made me feel like crap. I don't want to do business with a landlord that makes me feel like crap. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do a business with a landlord who is so unconscious that they just send me a text message that's like, Send me your W-2s. Oh, of course, I'm going to do that. With a whole bunch of typos. And right, with a bunch like of typos. Names. And he uses, he spells the word U with just a U. And I'm like, no. No, we're not going to get along. And, and I'm going to do you a favor and tell you that we're not going to get along instead of just ignoring you. I'm not going to passive-aggressively ignore, ignore you. And I'm not going to aggressive-aggressively tell you that you're a dipshit. I'm going to politely tell you why I'm not doing business with you so that in future you can do business with somebody who actually wants to do business with you. Duh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's how you stand in your personal power. Don't have to be a jerk about it. Honestly, I love the guy. Or girl, whatever it was. I don't even know who this was who text message. Because they didn't even say that what their name was. They just said, what's your name? What's your date of birth? How many people? Are you a part of yours? You don't drink, do you? <laughs> um, 
you need a copy of How to Win Friends and Influence People. I'm, where's your address? I will send you the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. But my, I, didn't, I didn't respond to him from a, from a place of being angry about it. I responded to him from a place of, of legitimately wanting this person to understand what they had done that had lost them the business. And I think that's really where the difference is. Because I wanted this person to really get it. Like, hey, you, you did in fact lose our business. We don't care how nice of a place you have or how good of a value it is. We care that, that you, you treated me in this way that I thought was abrasive and, and brusque. And, uh, and, we, and I want you to have somebody as your client who is willing to accept that. But I'm not willing to accept that. And think that I'm an asshole if you want to. That's totally cool with me. You can hate me all you want. But in the end, I did the guy a favor. Well, I think that's... Remember that one time that we had that really, really, really shitty pad thai in Kaneohe? And yeah. we didn't, like, tell them it was disgusting. Yeah. It tasted like ketchup on glass noodles. It was nasty. It was nasty. Yeah, we had a terrible restaurant experience, and we didn't say anything, and we smiled. And, 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 just, and just paid put up the $40 with it and get, for terrible, for terrible, terrible, terrible food. food. And, uh, and we learned something from that that day. We learned that we did them a disservice by not telling them. Mm -hmm. Remember? So ever since then, you and I have been pretty deliberate about right. speaking up for our needs as service people. We have. In fact, I know that I've gone to restaurants. Remember we went to Oahe Island Grill after that? Mm -hmm. And the, the food was amazing and the, their Thai iced coffee was crappy. And I said, the food is amazing. The Thai iced coffee was crap. I don't need it taken off the bill. I'm not trying to not pay for it, but seriously, letting you, know. letting you know this tastes like shit. The rest of the meal tastes amazing. <laughs> I don't think you actually said crap, but <laughs> I didn't. I, I just said I didn't like the. I didn't, I didn't like, like this. this. I did like this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, take it for what it is. And, right. And, you know, and we just advocating for yourself. What well, we advocated for ourselves, and at the same time, let the restaurant owner know in a polite way that. That, uh, that something wasn't up to our spec specifications. If they had wanted to pull it off the bill, I wouldn't have said no. But I didn't ask either because I drank it all. Yeah. I didn't think it was bad enough that I returned it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, oh, pour this in this thing. <laughs> this tastes like crap. <laughs> no, I drank it. I drank it with my meal. Yeah. So I feel kind of complete on this topic. Uh, do you have anything else you wanted to say? No, this has been fun, 17 minutes and 48 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> All right, we'll just turn it off then. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, so let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, one, of our, uh, one of our Facebook friends actually asked us a question. This was in regards to our last video, which was about, about sexual self-acceptance. And she said... No, it was about kinky sex. It was the one about kinky sex that we did, yeah. And sexual self-acceptance too, but yeah. I, one of them. <laughs> one of them. Anyway, it was Watch one of... them both. They're great. Yeah. Anyway, but, uh, but she, she brought up a really valid point, and she said, what if, what if your sexual fantasies involve something like pedophilia or rape? <gasps> gasp. And yeah, we're going to talk yeah, about gasp. that. Yeah. We are totally going to talk about that in our next video, which is, should be due out tomorrow if the internet cooperates. We, we kind of live out in the country, and so we're working on faster internet. At 1994 we, speeds. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're like, yeah, we're, we're at like 56K right now. Yeah, so... I go to the library to use the internet. I don't like this at all. I mean, it, it's changing soon, guys. It's changing soon. But uh, so, anyways, we might be on a slightly sporadic schedule, but we do make one video every day, and they don't, just don't always show up every day. <laughs> Depends on how many people are Netflixing and chilling at any given moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the Netflix that does it, not the chill. <laughs> If everybody was chilling, then everybody, the right. internet would be all free. Right. Up. If the internet was, yeah, if everybody was chilling, the internet would be free. <laughs> but yeah, we're on like a party you know, line. You know what's so great, Paul? Now that we've like publicly talked about sex on, on Facebook, now we can make all of our funny innuendos that we always make. We can. Yay! Yay! We make the best sex jokes, guys. Like we really do. We do. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we'll be answering that person's question about pedophilia and um, what was the other one? Incest or something? No. Pedophilia or... Yeah, um, rape. And rape. Yeah, we'll be talking about pedophilia and rape. Like, okay. Serious topics. Yes. But we're going to be talking about But we're going to talk about that anyways. <laughs> right. Yeah. We do not condone pedophilia or rape. Yeah, that's let, our let, disclaimer. Let... Disclaimer. We do not condone pedophilia no, or rape. No, not at all. Serious face.
But we're still going to talk about yeah, it. We're still going to talk about <laughs> it. We're still going to talk it's about it. It's important to talk about because it. it's important, and because there are so many people who suffer with these feelings that they have that they they want to you know go have sex with children and slash rape people, and they don't understand what these feelings mean. Right. We're going to talk about. We're going to talk about. We it. think those feelings mean. Yeah, we're going to talk about our take on it and, and our experience with it. Okay. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Uh... <laughs> All righty then. All righty then. And if you also, yeah, if you have any questions for us, yeah, please, please ask uh, them. Ask them. Put ask them in the them. comments below, and we will make videos about them because because right. yeah, we like we, to. We like to. And, this is fun. Right, and we we hadn't even thought about talking about pedophilia or rape on our Facebook feed ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we will but because it came, up. it came up, and yeah, we totally are interested in answering your questions. Also, we have our private group where we our talk. Private re exclusive relationship it, club. Yeah, money, it's so power, private. Sex. It's all about money, power, do, sex. Do, 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 do. Yeah. These videos are pretty much about us. Yeah. The stuff we do in those groups is about you, you and, your and your relationships. relationships. So if your relationship is worth like a dollar a day, right? Then then we got a thing for you. Yeah, we have a thing for you. If you want to like get some. Uh, conversation with us yeah in the group because we for for obvious reasons we're not going to have a conversation with you on our public facebook feed because that's like that's weird no and good appropriate. yeah that's that's i would not wish that for you right so i don't wish that for your your mothers and your cousins and family <laughs> right, like, members to see you were tagged in a post holy shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're comfortable like being freaky and like out there but we we no, totally understand I'm, that you're totally not. We totally understand that you're not. So right. yes, we're we are shining our beacon of freaky, <laughs> so you can come into our group and talk about your stuff there because it's right. it's really helpful to talk about and mm -hmm. work through your shame around the stuff that we are talking about with the money, power, and sex. Mm -hmm. Like that is our jam. We really want to share this information that has made our relationship so awesome with you mm -hmm. I've, I've shared with many people over the years about how to like have a better relationship with themselves with mm -hmm. each other with their family members like i am i'm a relationship guru over here okay so like on top I of want, a mountain and everything yeah i i want to share this stuff with you for like 30 bucks a month like i don't think that's unfair if your relationship is worth it Go, go buy it go send us a private message and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll send see, we'll you the handle link it. and then just come talk to us in our group and it's a safe space mm -hmm. it's really compassionate we're mm -hmm. making it a bullshit free zone yeah we have a zero strike rule yeah. if anybody does anything at all that hurts anybody else for any reason ever we just kick them out and don't give them their money yeah out. so so we keep a tight ship yeah like, we run a tight we, ship we are pretty okay with like Cutting right. out bullshit. Right, we are. So we and we will totally talk about ruthless. any any topic. Really fast. I was trying to like make a gun like <sighs> Yeah. You're gonna need to work on that was like a B plus. <laughs> Conrad would be so mad. <laughs> be like, I taught you how to shoot a gun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. So yes. Anyways. Also, because this is like a long extended like credits, real blooper, whatever funny CTA that we have here. Um, we are doing relationship mentoring, okay? Like, we actually had someone ask for it, and now yeah. we're doing it. So, so, so we're doing it. We're doing it. Like You can PM us about, PM about, us about, about that. it because we will rock your world. I already know that I've had a handful of relationships that have come into my world and have been mm -hmm. like, yeah. and now they're like fairy tale endings. Yeah, we, we, we love creating fairy tale ending, endings. I mean, including the castle. Yeah. Their castle marriage. Yeah, right. like it literally ended up in a With castle. Ca fairy tale <laughs> castle. <laughs> right. uh, uh, alrighty. Well I think we're I think we're done for now. Yes. Oh and Stay tuned for pedophilia stay, and rape. Yeah, stay tuned for pedophilia and rape. You'll love it. Woo! Alrighty. Alright. Bye bye guys. Bye.